Let's declutter your closet. This video is all about 15 things that you can declutter in your wardrobe while watching this video. Let's get started. Let's start easy with number one, and that is ditch the shoes that hurt your feet. We ladies tend to keep a lot of shoes that in theory look great, but uh, we can't walk half a block in them. Yet we are reluctant to let them go. Have a little shoe trying on party and only keep the shoes that you actually wear. And sure, you can keep a pair of two for special occasions, but most of your shoes should fit your lifestyle, fit the you every single day. And most importantly, ladies, they should be comfortable. Number two, what you can declutter in your closet is out of style handbags. You can declutter out of style handbags. You can declutter handbags that you no longer use, that you no longer need. Handbags do take up a lot of space. If you do have a lot of handbags, here's a pro organization tip. Utilize hangers or hooks on the walls to store them. Number three, what's a declutter in your closet today? Get rid of worn out clothing that's embarrassing to wear. We all have that favorite pair of pants or that t-shirt that might have holes in it um, that's not looking appropriate to like wear outside of our homes, yet we hold on to it anyways. When I was decluttering my closet, I actually found a pair of jeans that I've had since I was 16 years old. Why the heck do I need that? So go through your worn out clothing, anything that you know you're just not going to wear, throw it out. Number four, accessories that you no longer wear. A lot of times accessories are a trend. So we as women, maybe we were going out or again, something might have been in style or trending or that is something that you loved five years ago, but now it's just sitting in your closet and you don't actually wear it. Spend a couple of minutes going through your accessories and get rid of anything that you no longer need. As a pro organizational tip, if you have a lot of accessories via like jewelry and things like that, this is a great idea of how to store them. Number five is a big one and a lot of you might not agree. And it is get rid of your wedding dress. I held on to my wedding dress for like 10 years. I actually had it professionally you know, cleaned and stored beautifully in this huge box. And it was sitting underneath my bed for years and years and years. I don't know, I kind of felt sad getting rid of it. It's not like I ever thought I was gonna wear it again, but maybe I thought I would give it to my daughter, although, you know, our children almost never wear our wedding dresses, so I don't know why I would keep it. So if you still have yours hanging up in a closet, maybe it's time to get rid of it. There are wonderful organizations where you can actually donate your wedding dress, and I'll leave links to where you can donate your wedding dress in the description below. If you're serious about decluttering your entire wardrobe, your entire closet, and need some help, I have an entire program dedicated to that, walking you through A through Z, how to declutter, how to organize, and, and most importantly, how to maintain it. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. Number six, I am so guilty of this, and that is declutter clothing that you've been saving to pass down to your children. Most likely, they won't want it. They won't need it. It's just clutter. And look, when our kids are little, like my daughter's eight years old, and right now she absolutely loves to play dress up in mommy's clothes, especially my shoes. And she will constantly tell me, oh, mommy, can you save these shoes for when I get older? Oh, mommy, can you save this sweater or this dress for when I get older? The issue is, remember how you were when you were a teenager, you know, at eight, our moms were our role models. We wanted to be just like them. By the time we hit 13, we were like, I want my own stuff. Seriously, mom, why would I wanna wear your things? So I urge you to declutter the clothing that you're saving for your children. Number seven, and this might take you longer than some of the other items, and it's clothing that no longer fit you. Now with clothing that no longer fit you, I understand that there are exceptions, right? Maybe you're somebody who's currently on a diet, you're looking forward to losing weight, to becoming more fit. So there are items in your closet that maybe you don't necessarily fit into now, but you will fit into six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. Just be very conscious of what you're keeping. Number eight might not apply to everybody, but if you're someone who has clothing in your closet that still has tags on it, you wanna ask yourself, do you really need it? Do you? Do you? Are you ever gonna wear it? Items in our wardrobe that still have tags on us, like we're oftentimes reluctant to get rid of because it's like throwing away money. You bought it, you didn't wear it, you're not going to wear it, and it's like, I just spent 50 bucks on a shirt. 
that I'm never going to wear. Like it doesn't feel very, very good. What also happens is when we open our closet and we see items with tags on it, it, it makes us feel bad because it makes us feel wasteful. Like we wasted money. Why did we buy this? Declutter items in your closet that still have tags on them. The good news is that you can actually use apps like Poshmark or ThreadUp or, or Facebook Marketplace and you can sell your items. I'll leave links to the various apps where you can begin to sell your clothing today in the description. If you're getting value from my video, contribute to my coffee addiction by smashing that like button. Number nine, what you can easily declutter in your closet today are get rid of any broken or unused hangers. A pro tip is to actually invest in velvet hangers instead of plastic ones. And the reason for that is having velvet hangers actually takes up less space in your closet. Another beautiful benefit of velvet hangers is that clothing tends to not slide off of it. Number 10, items that are no longer your style. When I work with clients and when we are decluttering and organizing their closets, we oftentimes find a bunch of clothing that is not suitable for their current lifestyle. And a lot of that has to do with not really knowing what your style is. So maybe you are somebody that goes shopping, you see something on sale, it's cute in theory, it's 50, 60% off, you're feeling kind of stressed or anxious, you had a bad day, you're in that mood to shop, so you purchase it. You purchase it without realizing that practically this is not an item that suits your style and specifically your lifestyle. And this is something that I go over in my Declutter Your Closet program. It's working with you lovely ladies to identify your style because I think that before you can really declutter and organize a closet, you need to know what your style is. And your wardrobe should carry 80% of what your style is and the remaining 20% are things like you know special occasions or again outfits that maybe you're not wearing on a daily basis. Number 11 is declutter your coats. Coats are really bulky so they take up a lot of space in your closet. So if you have coats that you no longer wear that your children maybe grew out of, you can always donate for a coat drive, you can donate to a local charity in your neighborhood. If it's in good condition, you can sell it. Number 12 is luggage. Oftentimes we keep luggage that's like broken that we're not gonna use for in case of emergency purposes and that emergency kind of never really comes. Luggage is something that if it's underused or never used, takes up a lot of valuable real estate in our closet. So if you have a luggage that the zipper doesn't work, it won't won't close, it's broken, throw it out. Number 13 is outdoor accessories. So these are our hats, our gloves, our scarves. We tend to accumulate a lot of it. Invest five to 10 minutes going through your outdoor accessories. None of these items have to go to waste, but they are clutter in your closet. Number 14 are pet accessories. So I have a dog, I have a chocolate lab pit mix. Her name is Coffee, named after my addiction. <laughs> and sometimes our pets have a lot of accessories. We have, you know, coats that they wear, little booties for the winter. Just as you would go through your own clothing, your kids' clothing, go through your pet accessories. If they have grown out of something, if that something is ripped, if you no longer use it, if maybe like a Halloween costume and you're somebody that, you know, dresses up their dog in a different Halloween costume every single year. Well, if you're not going to use the Halloween costumes from five years ago, declutter it. And number 15 is free tote bags. I am like addicted to tote bags. I used to have so many of them. I feel like every time I go to a store and I see a cute tote bag or I'm gifted one or I'm given one for free, I will just like hoard and collect all of them. And it's like, do I really need it? I don't think I need it. Like how many tote bags can one person have? I don't know. Get rid of them. Make room for new free tote bags. You know, if that helps anybody. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. As always, good luck on your decluttering journey and remember to be good to yourself. Yourselves.